Okay, we're back. So we're gonna get into this story right here. All right. New reality that's heartbreaking and difficult to accept. Even though I went to the front row and I seen her gone, but my child right here. Back in December, Patricia Bouncy says her daughter, Nikita Washington, went to Harper University Hospital to have this bundle of joy, Nathaniel, her 12th child. But only Nathaniel came home. And I said, Lord Jesus, you ain't calling to tell me what you think. I think you telling me. She said, yes, mama, Nikita is gone. Nikita. She had 12 kids. My thing is this, why didn't you tell your daughter, your granddaughter, you're not having any more kids until after you finish college and you get married? Why wasn't that put out there? Okay, you, you, 12 kids, one, okay, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. And then a 12th kid, you let her do this? Come on now. I mean, what type of future do these kids have? Died at just 35 years old. Several of her children, who you see here, are so young, but already no pain. They taking their heart. They have good days and they have bad days. They're having a lot of bad days. Where's their daddy? These are not, these kids are not from the same father. They're not from the same man. How do how do you explain this? How do you explain when these kids get older that they all come from different men? How do you explain that? And now the entire family is searching for answers as they wait for the results from an autopsy. If she died naturally, I want to know. If one of them doctors did something, I want to know that too. Fox 2 reached out to Detroit Medical Center and we were sent this statement offering condolences, but telling us that due to patient privacy laws, they can't discuss this case. I'm hurt. I'm confused. But this grandmother says she must fight to keep Nikita's children together, the oldest being 19 to the youngest Nathaniel, who was barely two months old. I already thought about it and I will fight to keep them together and keep them with me and that you're too old you won't be around <sighs> she's too old to work she she won't be around long enough for these kids to grow up who's going to take care of these kids the 19 year old he's going to take care of all of his siblings and then we're looked upon as the bad guy for a man or a woman that talks about this. If it's a black woman talking about this, tell them the truth, she's a pick me. If it's a black man talking about this, you hate black women. This type of stuff is in the community every day. And then when you talk about how to fix a community, which is telling them to marry before they carry and to be wise in who they pick to have as they're to be the father of their kids, this is when they get mad. This is when they want to howl and cry. This is crazy. That means this family needs help. I have all 12 of our kids right now, so I got to get a bigger house because my house too small. The family is not only in need of a new place to call home, they also need a new vehicle. This family vehicle was involved in an accident and it's barely drivable. A GoFundMe account has been started on behalf of the family to help them get a new start. To learn how you can donate, go to fox2detroit.com. Whatever God sits on your heart to do, because we appreciate everything. But for now, this great. See, this is why you have some people will say in the manosphere that women have it easy on easy mode in life, especially minority women who are living in government assistance because they can make these types of mistakes. And already the government is there to help them. Okay, the government isn't going to, you know. Tell them, nah, you're not going to do this. You know, you're on your own. They're, they'll tell a man that. I mean, look at a man named Desmond Hatchett. 
he had like what is it, 20, 20 or 35 kids. And, you know, they locked him up, but they really couldn't make him pay all that money because those women, you know, what, what could those women do? What, $11 a piece? Okay. That's what they did with him. They locked him up. Okay, he was public under public scrutiny. All right, the dude worked at McDonald's, and these women were sleeping with him. Okay, Detroit Fox to a, a Detroit grandmother has been raising her 12, 12 grandchildren after her daughter died. Okay, while giving birth in December. Okay, so. It's, you know, the mother. Um, the, the fact of the matter is, again, why did you not put your foot down with this 16-year-old? When she first had a baby when she was 16. You're not having any more kids. That's it. Look at you now. Nikita Washington was only 35 when she died during the birth of her son, Nathaniel, at Harper University Hospital. They're taking it hard. They have good days and they have bad days, said Patricia Pouncing, Washington's mother. The family's still waiting for the autopsy results. If she died naturally, I want to know. If one of them doctors did something, I want to know that too, Pouncy said. I'm hurt. I'm confused. You don't think maybe having kids, you know, after kid may have been the problem? Some women don't survive having kids back to back to back. The Detroit Medical Center released a statement that offered condolences, but said that due to patient privacy laws, they can't discuss the case. As she waits for answers, Pouncey is raising the children and working to make sure they stay together. I already thought about it, and I'm going to fight to keep them together and keep them with me, she said, which means help. You need help. Of course you need help. That's 12 grandchildren right there, 12 kids. Of course you need help. I'm just stuck right now. I have all 12 of her kids right now with me so i gotta get a bigger house because my house is too small she said you oh you think you didn't think about that when you know after kid number five kid number 10 the family also needs a new vehicle for after a crash whatever god sits it on your heart to do because we appreciate everything she said <sighs> this sad man it's embarrassing too because black people already have a stigma as it is okay in the media and now this oh there you go again you bashing women you bashing women listen if it was a man doing this you guys would be all over that person crucifying them with your words but then when you give constructive criticism about a black woman having 12 kids 12 kids you know it's not by the same man okay you want to cry foul there was a woman who was Hispanic and she was called the Octomom and I think she had the same amount and she got assistance See, that's the thing man maybe women do have it on easy mode because they can make mistakes they can make decisions like this bad decisions 12 times over and there's no real repercussion for that I'm not donating I, I can't no somebody donates fine I'm not against that but I can't see myself doing this no Because I damn sure know if I made this mistake, no one in hell is going to support me. The fact of the matter is, is this, this is going to keep happening. And I'm wondering when they start, you know, rejecting Section 8 vouchers, when things get really hard, how are these kids going to survive? We're in an economic recession. The economy is going to crash soon. Now what? What is going to happen to these kids? The 
this is a stereotypical black single mother home. What is going to happen with these kids? Especially when the government no longer wants to take care of you. What is going to happen? How will they eat? How will they survive? That 19 year old, the oldest one, he wants his own life. Once again, when you talk this way, you look upon as a hater in the low, uh, the low economic spectrum of the black community, the low economic uh, rank of it. This is going to doing stuff like this. This will cause crime. This will cause kids to be criminals because the parents can't afford to feed the kids. Especially the grandmother, 12 freaking kids. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like, share, comment, and subscribe later.